Hey guys, today we're taking a look at the Red Dragon one-handed mechanical keyboard. And this super compact gaming keyboard now comes with a brown switch version. This means we'll get the great tactile feedback with less noise. And its small size means it should fit just about anywhere, making it perfect for consoles as well as PCs. Okay, so quick overview. What does this have to offer that you can't find in any other cheap compact keyboard? So first, individually lit keys, so you won't get the uneven brightness that some other cheap keyboards may have. And second, it has real, customizable RGB. That means no more fixed rainbow patterns. You can use the software to tweak the colors, set up patterns, and even change the effects. And third, it has a removable braided USB Type-C cable and a pass-through port. So this means you can have both your keyboard and mouse connected through the same cable. And lastly, the biggest feature is the built-in memory. Your lighting, keybinds, macros, and profiles are all stored on this keyboard. So once it's set up, they'll work on any PC or console without needing special software. Some budget keyboards may offer some of these features, but it's really hard to find one that offers all of them, especially at under $40. I bought this to replace my Razer Nostromo, which was a really nice keyboard and super comfortable, but it required you to sign in with your email address, and the lighting and key mapping requires special software to be running constantly. So if you're using this on a PS4 or a Linux, all the advanced features would be locked out. The trade-off of the Red Dragon is you're limited to just four profiles, so no per-game mappings or settings, but it does mean that your profiles will work on every device and it can be switched easily. Okay, let's move on to a closer look at the keyboard. It's a bit larger and heavier than my Nostromo, but it feels really solid. The keys are also spaced very well too, and I really like the wide variety of keys you'll have access to. Having the space for angled out like this is actually pretty comfortable and it's easy to hit. And having it out of the way means you can fit extra keys under X and C. However, some of the macro keys are really hard for me to hit without changing my hand position. I guess I won't be using them very often, but I wish they were just a little easier to reach. I didn't find the palm rest very comfortable. Maybe it's just because of my hand size, but regardless, it's magnetic so it can be easily removed. One of the first things I noticed was, unlike a standard keyboard, the Red Dragon doesn't have any bumps for hand positioning. This can mean it can be a little hard to line up your fingers properly without actually looking at the letters. But other than that, the keys feel really nice. There's a little bit of wiggle to the keys, but it's not very noticeable. And the keys do have a nice tactile feel to them. They're less clicky than your standard switches, but they're also less loud. The lower volume makes it better for people using desktop mics. However you start circle strafing, the body mount sounds can start to add up. So if you mash keys a lot, this will be quite a bit louder than your standard membrane keyboard. But overall, it feels really nice, especially for such a cheap keyboard. The top row of M keys can't really be mapped to anything, they're more for switching profiles. And you will need a Windows PC to set these up initially. It's pretty easy, just click on the profile you want to edit, then change the lighting, remap some keys, set the polling rate, and then click apply to save. Want to be able to navigate your PS4 home screen without a controller? Easy, make an extra profile with W, A, S, and D set to the arrow keys. Once your game loads with a single click, you're back to your gaming layout. The remapping is one of the biggest selling points for me. It's not very common in budget keyboards. With those, you're lucky to get a few macro keys, but with this, it's fully remappable and you get the extra keys. The keys can be mapped to any standard key, media keys like play and pause, and even macros. So yeah, overall, I'd say if you're looking for a budget, one-handed keyboard, this is a fantastic option. But I do get it. With the limited amount of keys, standard typing and web browsing would still require a standard keyboard. So for some people, going for a standard full-size keyboard, or even a 10 key list, may just be the better option, instead of having to use two keys. And if you really don't care about the mechanical aspect, and just want something for PC use only, the new Nostromos may work for you. But if you want something that's space saving, with the best bang for your buck, I'd really say give the Red Dragon DT a try. And if you want to pick one up and support the channel, I have a referral link in the description. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.